Hello, Facebook, and uh, welcome to the talk back for the Bookstore of Doom. Uh, my name is Ruben Ryan. I'm the director of online programming for the Center for Applied Drama and Autism. And we have the fantastic uh, director, cast, and writer of, uh, of the Bookstore of Doom all here to talk with you today. Uh, let's just go around the room and meet everybody uh, real quick. Um, first, let's meet the playwright, Samir Hamoud, if you would like to say hello. Hi, everybody. All right. And uh, let's go to our director, Camilla. Hello, I'm Camilla. Great to see everyone again. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, let's meet. Uh, let's meet our cast, of course. Uh, and uh, as you introduce yourself as the cast, please uh, say uh, please say your character name as you introduce yourself as well. First, let's go. Uh, let's say hello to Sid. Hi, I play well by John. All right, and uh, let's go to Justin Miller. Hello, uh, my name is Justin Miller, and by the, by the, my screen, you can tell I play Robot Bell. All right, excellent. Uh, and um, we have Jeffrey Miller Jr. here. Hi, I play Choker Killerson, the main character. Oh, yay. <laughs> All right, and uh, we have uh, Owen Mills here. Hello, I'm Owen Mills and I play Kirby. All right, excellent. And, if, and um, it's, it's Caleb Lloyd, right? That's me. Okay, I'm. I'm going to assume that Beverly is probably um, your uh, a, a relative of some kind. Mother, uh, my mother. My mother. Okay. And which character? Uh, which character do you play, Caleb? Um, I am Chucky. All right. Excellent. Excellent indeed. All right. Um, so of course we have this fantastic play here, the Bookstore of Doom. Samir, would you like to tell everyone what the general idea is of the bookstore of doom? How would you describe your story, well, you Samir? It was written and written by me, Samir Hamu. Okay. <laughs> it was oh. wonderful. What inspired you to write it, Samir? Well, I would write become a movie star someday. I could write oh. a script and directing. All right, of course. Voice acting. <laughs> And producer. Of course. Thank you, Samir. I can play the voice of Piglet. I, I know. I know, Samir. But we're talking about this play you've written here, uh, which doesn't have Piglet in it right now. Uh, oh, um, no. oh uh, just a quick note to any audience members coming in, in late. We do ask that uh, for this part, you turn your camera on. I mean, turn the camera off. Uh, you are welcome to turn it back on when we come to the part where we ask the audience for questions. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, wait. All right. Uh, so, oh, Millie is here. Excellent. I thought Millie, good to see you. Um, so, uh, while Millie is uh, logging in here, uh, Camilla, what did you think of the script when you first when you first saw it? Yes, thank you for asking. Um, I immediately read the script, and I there was just so much vivid imagery with all the characters and the bookstore and the robots. So I really thought as a director of how to bring this to life through the screen. Um, so as you probably saw Justin's Zoom profile picture, um, we were able to play around with our Zoom profile pictures as the book cover of the comics, which was really fun. Um, yes, there, there's Sid's as well as Robot John. Um, so yeah, the, the characters were so lively. It was such a creative script. Samir was amazing. Um, and I, it was an honor to be able to take in those characters and work with all the amazing actors. Um, it was a really fun process. And yeah, I learned a lot from everyone and from reading um, the work. Excellent. I, I, you mentioned the, um, in your production, you use, um, you use these cool profile pictures that represent the the covers of the comic book. When I watched it, I thought that was a really fascinating uh, visual detail that you guys chose to. Uh, I just thought that was a really interesting way to use the zoom. That was very cool. Thank you, thank you. It was fun because, as in Samir's script, obviously there was this um, transformation of a human into a comic book. So. I really was trying to think how we can create that quick switch online. Um, so I'm glad it was, it came through with the profile pictures. 
Yeah, no, I thought I, I really enjoyed some of your unique artistic choices that you made with it. It's cool. Uh, all right, so let's. Uh, so Jeffrey Miller, you said that you were the main character. Tell us about you. Uh, tell us about your experience playing that character. It was a good experience. I mean, great experience. Um, well, this was this was like a uh, you know, it was. It was good. It was also really, really impressive, you know? Okay. All I have to say. Did you have a favorite part playing that, uh, that part? I think my best part was like uh, just being uh, sucked into that comic book, you know? <laughs> Shrinking into that comic book, you know? After eating that Xena donut, you know? Very cool. Ooh. It's a, it is a very, it's a very fun idea for uh, <laughs> robots who are, who are uh, poisoning people into becoming comic books. Oh, and uh, Millie is here. Uh, Millie, uh, let's give you a chance to introduce yourself. Why don't you just introduce yourself and who you play in the, in the show? Um, okay, my name is Millie and I play Mandy. Excellent. All right. Very cool. Uh, all right. Well, let's uh, let's go to our antagonists here, the the robots. Uh, let's. Uh, oh, well, Sid's already turned his mic on. So, Sid, tell us about your uh, your evil robot. My robot is John, and my favorite part about it, he's just evil. He just wants to turn everybody into the witch and turn everybody into comic books. And my favorite part was having the um, the doll, the mini doll. Okay. All right. Uh, Justin Miller, why don't you tell us about uh, your evil robot? Uh, robot Bill was an interesting character to play. He was like evil robot, but he was also wanting to be a chef. I get the feeling that with him, it wasn't all about the evil. It was kind of half and half. He wanted to show I'm a great like chef, but I'm also evil. So you have to kind of balance the two. He, he, I'm relatively sure he did, he put a lot of effort into his cooking. So he's like, hey, it tastes good, but it's also evil. So there you go. <laughs> One, two punch of evil. So do you think he was programmed for evil or do you think he was programmed for cooking and just liked evil? I think that he was programmed for cooking and he kind of went along with Robot John since they were like, oh yeah, this sounds like it'll be a good way to get to do what I like to do and what you like to do. So we can both kind of work together. The evil just kind of came later. All right. All right. Um, so, uh, so Owen, why don't you tell us about a little bit about your character and your experience playing him? Um, I played Kirby, who was the heroine, who played the hero, and he saved everybody. It was a really fun role to play because I never played a hero. So it was really cool to experience like, hey, I saved everybody. So getting to tap into that energy was really fun. Very cool. So, uh, excuse me, almost choked there for a second. Uh, so, uh, so Caleb, why don't you tell us a little bit about what it was like to play your character? Um, there's a chunky guy to tell a happy ending. That's that's a good point. Yeah, that's always that's always nice to have. Uh, Millie, what about what about your experience? How was it playing your character? Um, I think it was really fun, and I was one of the customers that got turned into one of the comic books. And I thought it was like kind of cool that we just jumped out of the comic books and we didn't know what was going on. So I really liked the spirit of my character. Very cool. I will also just once again say I really did enjoy uh, the visual style you chose for for your production. The uh, the intro with the the comic book style uh, intro and then the all the different comic book covers were very fun. Um, how did you choose what you wanted to be on the on the covers? Was that a, a director choice? Did actors uh, make suggestions? How did you come to those? Uh, Camilla. Yes, perfect. Um, I would say it was it was a very creative process that we worked on collaboratively, um, and I think 
the actors, the energy, everyone worked so well together, which was amazing. We would do some exercises and activities of working on some power poses and some evil, um, evil poses as well. So with those, what we played around with in rehearsal, um, I would always give some of the actors some tasks to do at home after like sending some different photos and options. Um, but really it was up to the actors to create what they thought they would look like after being turned into a comic book. Um, but we did work in class a lot together. And then I gave all the actors the liberty of just sending me in photos and images of what they thought would represent their comic book cover. Very cool, very cool. How would you describe uh, the process itself of making the show? Yeah, um, the process was amazing. And as I said before, I learned so much from all the actors. Um, the script had so much in and gave so much information of the characters that it allowed the actors to really play around with it. So I gave also a, the liberty for the actors to do a lot of improv. So. Uh, of course, uh, there was 100% um, on the script that Samir wrote, but there were so many moments um, that the actors got the chance to do some improv, which was really, really, really fun. And they just sort of fed off from each other really naturally. Um, one of the moments, it, like Sid mentioned, the doll, the doll was not in the script and Sid just sort of brought that into a rehearsal one day and it totally flowed really well and we all loved it. So we just kept it going and working with it. Um, there were just a lot of and and a lot of the, the robots, um, Justin and Sid, they started also sort of ad libbing at the end of their lines, like robotic sounds and repetition, which was also not necessarily on the script, but they were able to bring that to life based on the character information we got um, from the story, which was great to see from all the actors. Very cool. We're very pro improv here at Cata, so that's so we we agree with that sentiment. Pro improv. All right. Um, but so I do want to ask, um, so obviously working virtually is very different. I would just like to hear some of the actors' thoughts on what it was like to perform in this versus on stage. Um, is there anyone, uh, let's see here. Um, oh, Justin, sure, go right ahead. You can, you can comment first. Well, I've actually been working with Zoom a lot recently. I have taken a couple acting classes during the pandemic, and I also have been like experimenting with it during the pandemic for certain groups that I was in. So it was relatively interesting, but I think the best part about it is like the use the use of like scene changes. Like we like since it was recorded, we could actually like record the scenes individually and do a lot more editing than we could with say a live show, and it makes it a lot more interesting because you can add a lot of things in post that way. It makes it real. It, I think it worked out pretty well from what I've seen. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, it's a great show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sid, did Love you have me. something you wanted to say about acting? Yes. Correctly? Yeah. Um, working on Zoom was not my first time working on Zoom. I did a play before on Zoom. My was new friend. Yep. Also written by Samir. Also written by Samir as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that was a fun time. And I've done Zoom with Kata classes and all that stuff. So I've done Zoom before. So it's not new to me. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, and did I see your hand go up? Yeah. Um, like I'd like to repeat what Sid and uh, Justin said, how it was very interesting. And I also have done a few shows online and, along with classes. And it's difficult to do the rehearsal and the actual show because it's tough to get the ideas across with a whole bunch of other people when you're not together in the same room. Although it actually worked out really well in this uh, area with this show. I've been in a few that have been sort of iffy and then some like this one that were really good. But uh, another thing that Justin said was that we could add things in post, which we did uh, effects and stuff, which was really cool that was in this show and also uh, that you could, if the take isn't good, unlike in a real show, you can't, you don't have to just move on. You could, okay, hang on, let's stop this and let's do it again. And we could pick and choose which one we like the best, which is a really useful tool to use. It is a little bit more like movie making like that. Yeah. Uh, Caleb, you had your hand up? Sorry. It says, yeah. Uh, uh. 
I said online, and she was new. I like the pictures. Okay. Is it, would everyone agree that it's generally harder to make that connection with another actor via the, uh, the Zoom box? That was one thing Somewhat. That I struggled with a little bit, but I feel like since we were still able to see each other, rather than, <laughs> rather than, I guess it's a little bit different from like a phone call or something like that. It does make it a little bit easier with everybody being in this, being on the same space technically, but I, I would still prefer to be able to do it with everybody, of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I agree with, I agree with um, Justin on that one, yeah. Oh. Uh, Jeffrey, would you like to add anything about acting virtually? Well, like, uh, it was what the script was was very imaginative and, uh, and also um, acting virtually. I actually... I actually uh, started CADA about a year ago, exactly a year ago. Um, oh, so and, you were uh, in one of our online classes before you- Yes, did I was in the Puppet Palooza. Oh yes. yes, of course, of course. Excellent. That was my very first CADA class, CADA class, so. Well, I'm, we're glad you took it. <laughs> yep. Uh, Millie, would you like to add anything about acting virtually? Personally, I don't think it was that hard. I feel like I enjoyed it more than if it were um, in person. And um, with all the new things that I've learned, I think it was just pretty good. Excellent. All right. Um, someone ha We have received some comments about the show uh, that have been forwarded to me here. From uh, this, this comment uh, comes from Facebook. I watched the play, The Bookstore of Doom. Congrats to Samir. Unconventional, so much freshness, full of energy. Thank you, Rufus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold on, hold on. I'm not done reading it. Also, I'm not the one who said these. I'm just, I'm just, re I'm just repeating them. Uh, but I'm glad you're happy about it. Uh, so what, where was I? Uh, so full of energy. I love the energy of the actors. Director coordinated everything very well. I would say a well-designed play. Congrats to the entire team. Uh, that's from our friend uh, Linish. So some glowing praise there from the face from the Facebook feed. Excellent. Uh, another comment. Oh, I think this one's actually. Uh, this comment comes from people in the room here now. Uh, love it with multiple O's. Uh, loved the story, Samir, and the cartoon images were so fun. And that uh, that appears to come from Sid's parents. All right. Oh, we do have a, and we have a, we have our first question here. Um, someone would like to just know where all the actors are from. Um, I would just say what part of the country you're from, or what country you are from, if you are from a different country. From Ohio. Okay. All right, from Ohio. I imagine a lot of us. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah Ohio. by Ohio. Okay. <clears throat> yep, Ohio for me too. Yeah. All right. Who is not from Ohio? Let's start there. All right, Millie, uh, would you like to say uh, where in the country you are? You don't have to, don't be too specific, just the general idea. I'm on Long Island. Excellent. Very cool. That is actually the nice thing about uh, operating virtually uh, is that we do get um, we do get to work with people who are out of state. Um, I imagine a lot of you who are in Ohio or in Northeast Ohio. Is anyone in a different part of Ohio? Yes. Um, uh, yeah, yes. You're in you're in Northeast Ohio, Samir. Northeast Ohio. I'm from a state too. Oh, excellent. Okay. I'm from um, Virginia. I'm streaming from Virginia. From Virginia. All righty. And that is, a, that is the very cool thing about this, is that it does allow us to work with people who are, out of, are outside of the range we would normally work with. Um, some of our other plays even were either written uh, by people from other countries. Uh, which is very exciting for us here to be able to have that level of international collaboration. Uh, Camilla, where in the country are you at? 
I am in Brooklyn, New York. Oh, wow. Very cool. I know people, I know people in Brooklyn, so. <laughs> Do. My brother lives in Brooklyn. <laughs> okay, uh, we have a we have a question that will probably um, that will probably be uh, there might we might need answers from more than one person here, uh, which is how long did it take to make the play start to finish? So Samira, I guess we'd start with you. Uh, when did you start writing the play? I write the play a long time ago. Okay, um, but like, did you when did you start it? In the did movie, you it, did you start it like last year or last year? Okay, was that by any chance in our playwriting class? Yeah, that's right. I'm sure right. I'm so that would have been some time. So we would have you would have started writing it last summer. Very cool. Um, and so at bait, and so I guess the technical answer would be: Is it took from last summer to uh, when did you finish uh, with the the filming and editing, Camilla? Yes, we started um, rehearsals, I think middle March. Um, and then we filmed beginning, end of May, beginning of June. So March, yeah. May, June, four months-ish. Yeah, I would say so. Mm -hmm. All righty, excellent. So- I remember us starting in, in March. I know, oh. we started in March. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna oh. say, yeah, it's in March, yeah. So, oh, it took, oh, so it took roughly that amount of time. Uh, that that all and of course in between the time that he wrote it and the time that it was uh, directed and acted, there was also mm -hmm. the pre-production of setting up the festival and whatnot. So I guess it, it took a decent amount of time. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we have another. We have a comment here from the audience. Uh, everyone did. Uh, this is from Bavna. Everyone did so well and very well directed. Big thanks to Camilla for making it so much fun for each week. So it looks like we're having very positive responses uh, in the comments. Uh, does anyone else in the in the room right now have any questions they'd like to ask the audience? You can send it to the chat, or if you want to turn on your camera and talk to us, um, that is also okay. Oh, looks like you have another one here. Uh, this is from Debbie. They did an awesome job. Made us laugh. Love the comic book pictures. Love the effects. And my mom yeah, liked the music and awesome. dancing oh, and all the actors. Great job. <clears throat> Yes, hands on. Camera on so that I can. <laughs> oh, hey, hello, Amanda. Did you uh, <laughs> did you have a, a question or, or something you'd like to? Uh, say? Well, uh, yeah, I might as well ask a question. Uh, how 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 long um have you guys have you guys been uh, working on uh, your play? Well, we just we just actually answered that one. Uh, they do, they were practicing it uh, in the beginning of March, and they said it, it was about four months of of rehearsal. Four months. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I loved um mm. I loved all the actors, and uh, we loved uh, Sid's laugh, and uh, Brandon did um, an awesome job, and I'm really excited that I, I'm getting to work with uh, Brandon in my play. So, but. Sure. I might yeah, want to explain there for, more for than, uh, anyone who might be curious. Brandon is the voice you uh, you hear in some of the versions doing uh, some of the audio recording. Yes, uh, he did, I believe yes. he does the intro where he says everyone's name. Is that am I remembering that right? Mm -hmm. I, I think so. Uh, but yes. But yeah, uh, I'm excited that I get to work with uh, Brandon in my play too, which is uh, more than meets the eye. So, but great job, everybody. Yes, Brandon. Thank you, Brandon is our Thank editor. You. So he'll, he'll, yeah. he's, he's gonna be working with all the productions in some level. Oh, Jeremy. Oh, uh, yeah. Even if it's just adding accessibility. Um, Brandon mm -hmm. is one of the people who is helping to add accessibility to this uh, to this festival. Uh, he's been some of he's but done most of the audio description. Uh, some some directors did choose to do their own audio description for some of their for some of the plays. Um, but he has also been adding the captioning. And we have a uh, a great person named Sarah who's been doing the ASL. Because uh, we wanted to make sure that the, these productions were available is yep. to be as accessible as possible uh, for, yes. for a wide range of people. We, we liked watching the um, the one that told um, a lot more of the story, the the narrated one that Brandon did. Oh yes, did. The, the audio. Those are the audio description versions. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. those are to help the uh, yes. the visually uh -huh. impaired. But they can be fun to watch sometimes because sometimes they bring out details that you miss when you don't have it. Which yeah. is the fun thing I've learned. So, so great job, everybody. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All thank right, you. we do have. Let's see here. We have some more uh, questions in the chat. 
or uh, questions and comments, I should say. Um, the uh, first couple ones are from Bhavna. Uh, so Samir, you wrote this for your summer class, but Bhavna would like to know how long it took you to write it. Did it take you the whole class or? You, you are muted, Samir. Yes. And so, it, so it took as long as the class lasted? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so the classes are about 10 weeks. Okay, so about 10 weeks, all right. Uh, all right, uh, let's see here. And uh, Bhavna would also like to know, Samir, what inspired you to write the play? I could write a movie script. Okay, so I, I think I think when people, when we, when we ask uh, what inspired you, I guess we mean more like where do you get the idea of a bookstore that turns people into comic books? They turn it, they, they capture everyone. That they did. I think we'll just have to, I just think we'll just have to accept uh, Samir's wild imagination on this one, Bhavna. Uh, <laughs> but uh, let's see here. Uh, all right, let's see here. Caleb's friend, Hannah, wants to yeah. thank you for inviting them to see the play. So that's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's real nice. You're welcome, y'all. You're welcome, sir. Okay. Thank you for coming to see the play. Well, well absolutely. I, that is a great thing. Well, that's, uh, that's a great thing to mention. Thank you all for coming to see the play. Now, uh, a great thing about this is, is that this play is going to still be available to watch all summer long. Uh, so if you, if you still want to see it, uh, there is still time uh, to tell friends and loved ones about it. They can get the, the web. The tickets are available on our website, centerforada.org. Um, so do, so, and that also goes for the previous shows. If you saw this one and you're like, man, I wish I'd seen the, the previous shows, you can still check those out. Um, all right, we got another question here. Uh, to Camilla, what fun surprises did the cast have for you? Oh, great question. Um, I think I mentioned some of them because I think one of the best surprises and moments was during, during improv. Um, and I think what surprised me the most was how all the actors really connected with each other because when one of them brought up some improv in a moment, everyone just sort of took it and continued. So just the natural progress of yes and in improv, everyone just fed off from each other and naturally just kept the ball rolling, which was great, especially because we're on, we are on Zoom and that connectivity takes longer to develop. But I honestly feel like after a few rehearsals, everyone just really had um, everyone's energy um, together, which surprised me and brought the play even more to life than it already was through the script. Yeah, like, like me and... Um, Justin, the books, the the um the cafe of no return. Yes, that was a great one that they Bookstore named. Store of Doom Cafe of No Return. That was a lot of fun ones, and I really like doing the echo effect on that one. It's always and a fun. Turn, one. Was, turn, yeah. turn. Yeah. I I liked your guys is like uh, canes, your evil canes. Yeah, Riddle canes. I was yeah. gonna say, aren't those Riddler canes? They yeah, they, like they are. And then the Justin and Sid both randomly had the same looking <laughs> prop and they both brought it yeah. in so it was great. Everyone would just bring different props every time. Um, yeah. Just brought freshness and more imagination into the script always. Mm -hmm. Very cool, very cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Anybody else? All right. Well, once again, I want to open it up to the audience for any other questions. Uh, but is it cool? Do you have something else you'd like to share there? Yes, I would love to ask um, all the actors um, what it felt like or what it was like to watch the performance. Because as obviously Owen was saying, there was a lot of post-production and we did a few different takes from different scenes. So what was it like just seeing the whole thing come together after rehearsing for so long? Uh, it was kind of weird. <laughs> It was weird, like, I don't like, okay, funny enough, I don't like watching myself in videos or seeing pictures of myself. It's weird. I just don't like seeing pictures of myself or anything like that. Totally. Mm -hmm. So it was weird to see myself. It takes, it takes a while to get used to that. Yes. It, 
I guess it kind of reminded me of when I was a kid. I used to do, like, I started theater when I was really young. I actually worked, Wendy was the one who started teaching me about theater when I was a kid, when, back when she still worked up at Miller South. So, wow. I just remember the first time that I acted on stage, the first time that, that I did this, it just felt pretty much the same. It was, a, it was pretty interesting, but also kind of scary in a way. It's always weird when you move yeah. into a new medium of acting in theater. But I, I would say it kind of reminded me of that. And it was nice to be able to see myself on the, inter- on the internet that it's not just on Facebook, not just like a Facebook picture. Fair. Yeah. Uh, for anyone with, um, for anyone watching who might not have the context, uh, Wendy, uh, Wendy Duke is, uh, one of the people who runs uh, the Center for Applied Trauma and Autism. She's All right. Awesome. Uh, any, uh, which other actors would you like to, to answer uh, Camilla's question next? All right, Jeffrey. I gathered up all my parents, all like my, my entire family to see that play. It was, it was actually pretty funny. So you had a nice... Mom, you know? So you had a nice communal experience with your parents watching it. Yeah, my family actually, because I got a I got a younger younger oh, yeah. brother too. <laughs> of course. So generally speaking, you guys thought it was funny and loved it. Yeah, that's right, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so okay. Mean. <laughs> All right. Um, who who would like to share their experience watching it next? Uh, Millie, what did you think of watching the show? Um, I feel like it was really fun, and I feel like it came out better than I expected. Um, but same as Sid, I don't know why I don't like watching myself, and I'll I didn't want to, but I was like, it's gonna be fine. But I actually really liked it. That's excellent. I agree with you on that one, though. Yeah, I just thought it's just like it was weird to watch your own self. I don't want to watch it either. Uh, Caleb, what did you yes. think watching the show? I would say it, it was cool to see everyone in the finish. Excellent. Owen? Yeah, it's weird because uh, I typically perform on stage and you never get to see your own performance. It's, and like a whole bunch of other people said that it's really weird to see yourself on the recording and it's just sort of weird. But yeah, it was, all in all, it was a really good show and it would, uh, it would have fun watching it. Yeah, no, I totally understand that moment where you're like, oh, that's what I look and sound like. That's, that's different than how I imagined myself. But yeah, it's like, oh, I sound like this, okay. Now, but uh, Samir, what was it like watching it for you as as the writer? <clears throat> well, it was awesome. All right. <laughs> it was awesome. Okay, uh, Justin, did I see you had your uh, your hand up there? Oh yeah, I just I do agree with that. It's kind of hard hearing yourself for the first time when you don't realize it. You kind of sound different than you hear yourself because. I actually learned a lot about that when I was working in, as an audio engineer, and it turns out like n- we all think we sound completely different from how we normally sound. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. You never know how strange your voice is until you hear it coming out of a machine. Now, Camille, obviously you, um, I, I assume you were part of the editing process, so you probably watched it come together as it was going, but how is it for you to watch the final the final product? Yes, totally. I, I, I did the whole editing on my own. Um, and it was it was refreshing. I, I, I after editing, it, it took a while, of course, and it was a lot of repetition. So after editing, I took like a week off from seeing the whole footage because I needed a fresh mind. And then watching it um, again was amazing because I think we we had amazing takes. We didn't even take that many takes because we rehearsed for so long. So everyone was like on point and ready. Um, but I was just hoping I was able to recreate Samir's words and stories and characters as best as possible. So hopefully that came through. Excellent. All right. Um, 
Well, if anyone else has any other questions, they can feel free to, uh, to, to mention them in the chat. Because uh, now I'm going to go into shameless plug mode as I promote some of, well, CADA's upcoming events, including the future shows in this festival. Um, first of all, uh, July 30th, uh, well, the last Friday of this month, which I believe is July 30th, unless I'm losing my mind. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's August. Uh, but the last, the last Friday of the month uh, it will be the Cada's Improv Show, uh, last Friday, Improvs. Uh, we have an improv show every final Friday, virtually, uh, online. Uh, you can buy tickets for that on our website as well. Um, that is normally carried out by uh, the various actors and performers and students that uh, go through the, that work with us here at CADA, uh, including myself as an instructor. Uh, but that will be the last Friday of the month at 7.30. So please do check that out. Um, and of course, we have more shows coming up for you in this very festival itself. So let me share that with you here so you can have a visual. All right, shows that are already available, by the way, if you're interested in seeing them, of course, are Gold Treasure, Crossing the River, The Journey, Back, and now The Bookstore of Doom. But upcoming, next weekend, we have The Dinner Party. That's by me. Th yep, that's right. That one's written by Sid. What? Yeah, that's right, Samir. <laughs> and of, and uh, on July 31st, right... On July 31st, we will have the case of the missing jewelry. And on August the 14th will be more than meets the eye. So please do check these out. Uh, we encourage you to see it. Uh, we encourage you to see the whole festival if you can. Yep. Um, and uh, so yeah, we have we have all those wonderful shows and programming for you. We really do hope you check it all out. Mm -hmm. Hope you do. And we have a, and Kate has a YouTube channel as well. Oh, Kate does have a YouTube channel, which is actually, if you want to see the past talkbacks, they will be up there on the YouTube channel. So many talented people and in this organization. <laughs> we also have, uh, uh, so, oh, I'm sorry. Just to confirm, it is July 30th is the improv show. If you are interested in seeing all the shows in the festival, we recommend a sponsorship, uh, which is only $25, and gets you a ticket to see, get you a password to see all of the shows in the festival. Um, so definitely check that out. Uh, there have wonderful, a lot of wonderful work being put out by wonderful uh, creators and artists here. Plus, you know, it never hurts to be a sponsor to a nonprofit. So, you know, <laughs> we, hope to, we hope that you do become one. All right. Um, all right. I think, is there anything else that anyone really would like to share about? Now we're good. Uh, okay. I got something to say. Okay, Sid, go right ahead. It was a great work with everybody, in, even Camilla. Everybody, I... It was fun. It was a great time working with everybody in the cast. It was a great show. I just loved it. Can I do it? I'll, can you do what? I'll mirror his <laughs> beliefs. That was a, it was a great show. I loved working with everyone. It was an experience that I'll always wow. look back on. Did your hand just say great to work well, with you? Well, that's right, Bob. Yeah. 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 Where are we go? Let me thank you for watching. Well, hold on, Samir. Hold on. If you do that now, you're to gonna to cut off to anyone to else who had anything to say. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. What was that? Oh, what was that, Caleb? Great. To what? With you. Anyone. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. Uh, oh, Camilla. 
So, yeah, I just also wanted to quickly say it was such a pleasure working with all of you. You're all such talented, incredible actors. And I think all of you together in the space was amazing. You brought so much creativity and so much energy. And thank you, Samir, for also letting us take your script um, and work with it. It was so great meeting all of you. And I will miss all of you. So hopefully I'll see you around in other Kata events and shows. Um, hopefully, yeah. Thank you. Yes. You too, ma'am. Yes. I hope so. I really like you. I hope so, Camilla. Thank you for a great be. rehearsal process and performance. Maybe if I'm, so maybe if I'm Brooklyn, I might be. Uh -huh. If I'm in Brooklyn sometime, I might come visit you. I don't know. Let me know. Please do. Let me know. You have my email. Uh -huh. All right. We have a... Yeah. We received another comment here. I believe this is from Facebook. Really impressed with the power of inclusive theater. And that's, that's really what it's all about right there. Uh, speaking of that though, I almost forgot one, one more important program that uh, the Kata is doing uh, is our teacher workshops uh, where we teach people how to work with uh, individuals uh, uh, with disabilities in teaching them how to do drama or just work with them in this manner. So please do look, check out our teacher workshops. If this is the type of work that you would like to help promote in the world. So you can find that information on our website. Once again, center uh, for ada.org. Mm -hmm. Those are coming up this, uh, this August. Um, so do go check that out if this is something that you are passionate about. And I encourage everyone watching to be passionate about this. All right. All right. Um, unless anyone else has anything else they'd like to say, it's time to say goodbye to, it's time to say goodbye to Facebook. Bye, Bye. Facebook. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, Facebook. Peace out, Facebook.